Hello, beautiful students. Welcome back to our online social studies class, day three. And our topic still remains early life on Earth. And our book is from the student book 45 to 50 in our worksheet three and four. The value of the month is still remains loyalty. And our date is from the 19th to 28th, January 2022. Our objectives are to tell that man develop and enhance his lifestyle through time. To realize that life on earth is always developing and new things are being invented. To create enthusiasm to play a positive role in this ongoing process of development. Question and answer time. So what you're going to do is, if the answer is right, you put your thumbs up. If the answer is wrong, you put your thumbs down. What did early man wear? So a picture will popping up. You're going to look at the picture that follows. Use thumb up if you think this is how early man dressed or thumbs down if you think they didn't dress in such a way. What did the early man wear? This is a shirt. Do you think the early man wore this type of shirt in those days? Of course not. They never had the chance to wear this. Okay, very good. Now the next one. Do you think they wore these blue jeans in the early days? No, the answer is no. They never wore blue jeans or even trousers. They never wore. Okay, do you think they wore this clothes that this man is wearing here? Oh yes, they did. Very good. Very good, they did. Now the next one. Where did early man live? Where did the early man live? Look at the picture and follow the, uh, follow, uh, that follows, sorry. Look at the picture that follows. Use thumbs up if you think this is where early man live or thumbs down if you think they didn't live there. Did the early man live in this beautiful house? Of course, no, they never lived in this beautiful house. Very good, they lived. Did the early man live here? And what is this place called? Very good, it is called a cave. They live in a cave. Good job, everyone. Did they live in this beautiful apartment? Oh no, they lived in the cave. Yes. Did they live in this hut? Yes, they did. They lived here. What did the element eat? Look at the pictures that follows. Use thumbs up if you think the food if you think the food element ate, or thumbs down if you think they didn't eat this food. They ate ice cream. Did they have ice cream during those days? No way. There was no ice cream, so they never ate ice cream. Very good. How about this? Yes. They only fed on fruits, milk, meat. Good job and eggs, eggs. How about candies? Do they eat candy like us? Oh no, they never had candy. Very good. How about the seeds and the nuts? Did you think they ate seed and nuts? Oh yes, they ate seeds and nuts. Good job, everyone. What did the early man do? What do you think they did? Look at the picture that follows. Use thumbs up if you think this is what Elliman did, or thumbs down if you think they didn't do these things. They play PlayStation? <laughs> no, no, no. They never played a PlayStation, no. No PlayStation. Very good, everyone. How about this? Yes, this was their game and the TV in those days. Oh yes, this was their TV and their PlayStation then. Okay, very good. 
Did they watch TV? No, they never watch TV. <laughs> That's good. How about what did the animal do? What did they do? They want animals to feed. Very good. Good job. Now a quick assessment, a quick assessment. Where did the cavemen live? Where did they live? Can you tell where the cavemen lived? The cavemen lived in their caves. They lived in their caves. Now number two, the cavemen moved from one place to another in search of what? In search of bread, in search of rice, in search of chicken, no in search of food and water. I remember their food was just vegetables, fruits, milk, and cow meat, okay? What are the food the element ate? I just said it now. What are the food the element ate? They fed on seed, milk, meat, eggs, fruit, and roots. Good job. Another quick assessment, number four. Why did big families live together? Why did the big families live together? Now let's read together. Family live together to help each other on farms and also to keep wild animals, wild animals and other dangers away. Well done students. Number five, what do we call the place where families live? What do we call the place where families live? It is called village. It is called what? Village. Number six. Now the last one. Man who lived in the cave is called what? A man who lived in the cave is called what? A houseman? Very good. It's called a cave man. Good job, students. Well done. Now our worksheet three, second the things used by the early men. Do you know the things they use, the early men use here? Second the things they use. Did they use these tools? No, these tools are for these modern days, okay? How about this beautiful dress? No. How about the shirts? No. How about the shoes? No. So this was their tool, okay? And also they use animal, animal skin or animal eyes to make shoes, to make dresses for themselves. And they rub and also use tree leaves to make dress also for their children and also for them. And they also rub stones together to make fire. But now in our modern days, we have lighter, we have matches. Okay, we have match sticks. Now, did they live in the cave? Yes, they live in the cave. Now we are living in the modern houses, beautiful houses, but early men, they lived in the cave. And how about the shoe? They use the animal skin to make shoe. But now in our modern days, we have beautiful sneakers, beautiful canvas, beautiful boots. But those days, they never had any. They use animal hides to make shoes for themselves. And they also wear this dress. You see, they use the animal skin or animal eyes to make the dress for their children in order for them not to catch cold. Now, question, um, worksheet four, fill in the correct word in the box, okay? Early men move from one place to another in search of food and water. Name three things early men used to eat. They ate seeds, fruits, you can even name more if you know, okay? And meat. Well done, everyone. Good job, everyone. I hope you all enjoy the game. I'll see you all in our next class. But before then, don't forget to always keep safe. Wash your hands regularly. Bye, and I love you.